What's good, YouTube? It's your boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Pro Winston here. This is another Winston profile with our YCS champion of Kansas City, Courtney. What's good, bro? How you doing, man? Doing all right. How you doing, man? I'm fine. I'm fine. You was probably on the original idea of the Winston profile, but I had to bring you back today because YCS Atlanta's coming up, and I need the whole world to be reminded of the reigning state champion, I like to say. So, <laughs> yeah, so your hometown area again is? Uh, Norfolk, Virginia. All right, all right. Well, I'm just going to get straight to the point with you. What do you believe Atlanta will be basically about as far as decks? Um... Of course, you know, there's going to be wind-ups in there. Wind-ups are hyped up. And it's not the fact they're hyped up. Things that I view that are hyped up are usually going to lead up to not being actually that great. But wind-ups are actually pretty good. They're consistent. Um, the plays are not just the same. Of course, they go for the hand loop. But in game two and three, they switch it up and go into, like, the side deck, which usually leads out to be a stun variant. But there's always a different form of stun with each person. So I really like wind-ups. Um, and sectors. Even though I discussed with you that I hate the deck, it's still a good deck. Um, so I believe you're going to see those two. You're going to also see a lot of bandwagoners that are going to run Six Sands because Six Sands won Guadalajara. So um, those are three. Of course, Donna Rabbit because that's still a great deck. I don't care what anyone says. And um, you're going to see a lot of randoms because, like I mentioned before, YCS Atlanta is going to be like testing ground for this format. Everything and anything goes. Like You can't look at somebody and say, you're stupid for running – X sabers or stupid for running whatever. This is whatever's gonna fly. We're in a chaos format, so play whatever you want to play. So we're gonna see a lot of random stuff, but those are the top four that I view that I feel that we're gonna see like majority of, and then all the randies. Um, if I remember when I topped in YCS Dallas with Samurai, my own version of it, um, it was proclaimed that whoever won that jump will be known as probably one of the wackest players because they took the cheesiest deck and won. Do you think <laughs> the same can be said about this February and the cheesy decks out right now? Yes and no. Um, I really don't know how to 100% answer that question. Um, I guess the most I can say is, like I said, it's a cast format. Whatever goes is whatever goes. I mean, if somebody wins a wind-ups, they win with wind does it. They win with Samurai, whatever. They win with that. Like, I really can't be mad at this current point. It'd be different come, let's say, April in Philly or Chicago. The same thing occurs. Yeah, then I can go ahead and say something and fully answer the question. But right now, I really can't get mad if wind-ups or anything else won because it's a chaos format. Anything and everything will fly right now. All right, all right, all right. And um, what is your what is your opinion on the cards, the side deck for the – Windups and in sectors. Um, Besides the eyes, I'm at a, shadow and prison and mirrors and all that. Right. Um, I'm actually doing an article that was due like two weeks ago for TCG Player, but it basically is what you just asked me: side deck and main deck text. Um, my suggestions for everybody for windups. Um, game one, if you don't open up with a maxi, I'm sorry. Count your hand at a loss and try and play out of it. If you can't, go to game two and. Just know the majority of them are probably going to go into a side variant and decide for, like, stun. Just side for stun. Um, Doom Cows are going to be a big thing. If you can, I would probably say main deck Doom Cows because T-King really isn't doing that much this format. But Doom Cows, Cyber Dragons, because they go ahead, they're big beaters. They get under maxi and different stuff. They dodge that. So I'd probably say that. Decrees, most of all, or Trap Stun, whichever you prefer, but Decrees, because everything right now is a 7-plus trap lineup. So decrees to go ahead and lock them out. And um, I'd probably say for Insectors, I would say Kaiku. Like, I was sitting down last night, and I was thinking what could be really devastating. I would probably think, even though they can go into Levier extremely fast, I'd probably say Kaiku, knock their Hornets out as fast as you can, and just cripple the deck. And Prohibition for both decks. Because Prohibition, you can go ahead and call out uh, Hornet for Insectors and then call out Rabbit or Shark for uh, Windows. Um, all right, all right. And do you believe that Dark World will still be a deck as far as a deck to be worried about in a side deck? And do you I feel was... Gravekeepers would be 
a still a contested deck because I want to play close forest. Do you believe it's even a thought? All right. I don't know if my team will get mad for me discussing this, but we had came down and yes, yesterday, not yes, yeah, yesterday was Sunday. Sunday, Saturday, and Friday, we had a big team meeting and we discussed a lot of things. And um, like I had predicted, like if you look at my Facebook, I had said Six Sands are gonna like if anybody plays that, they're probably gonna top it while Lahar. Lo and behold, they won. But um, I had mentioned Great Keepers before because I'm like I hate Great Keepers and I hate anybody that plays it. But right now, if anyone played Great Keepers, I would have a lot of respect for them because everything right now is high monster count and then everything needs the grave to go off. So if you shut off the access to that, you really can't do much right now. So I'm like, I really think Grey Keepers would be something to slightly be worried about. And I probably, if I had room in my deck right now, I probably would put in close fours just in case I run into that. Because I know that would be really crippling to me if I run into like Grey Keepers. Dark Worlds, on the other hand, I don't have room to side for them. But I know I'm going to run into them. And if I do, I do. It's a loss, a loss. I mean, like, you can't side for every last thing in this YCS. But those are two decks I probably would try to keep my eyes open for, especially Grey Keeper. All right, all right. And um, do you believe that Phoenix Chain is overhyped right now, or what? When I first saw Phoenix Chain, I was like everybody else. I thought the card was okay or subpar. But, like, recently, I really believe the card is, like, on point. I don't think it's overhyped, but um, I really think it's an amazing card. And, like, a lot of people are like, oh... We had three MSTs in a heavy storm, but you have to understand, do you really want to burn your MST on that Phoenix chain? Unless you're going off a game, that's something totally different. But do you want to burn your MST on that Phoenix chain, or do you want to burn it on an unknown card that could be anything? So, like, I like Phoenix chain. It forces your opponent to think. It shuts off, like, their effects. And not only that, it gives you a turn to set up. If by chance your opponent drops something big, it's not the fact that it can stop effects it can stop their attack. So it has two pluses to it already. So I don't think the card is overhyped. I actually believe that it's like just the right amount, uh, right amount of hype for it. It's a wonderful card. I think it's evenly balanced. The price, I don't think is evenly balanced, but <laughs> but um, it's a good card. Mm, interesting, interesting. And would you give a Six Samurai deck respect as far as... Um, it even being played because I don't think a person should pick up six samurais right now and play it. If the person, all right, like the person at Guadalajara, I got some respect for him only for the fact that not for like everything that went on, that ruling is BS, but um, for them to pick the deck up and say, I'm going to go against the meta and I'm going to run this. Yeah, of course I have a lot of respect for that because it's not a hundred percent originality, but at the same time, it's some form of creativity that I don't have to bandwagon to go ahead and take my victory. Anybody right now that would pick that up, I probably wouldn't have respect for them, only for the fact that I feel that they're bandwagoning again and jumping onto the deck. And then at the same time, we have no clue that maybe at the players meet at YCS Atlanta, the head judge can go ahead and turn down that previous ruling, which now you're stuck with a deck that has the same liabilities as every other deck versus Hornet or something else. All right, well, thanks, Courtney. And um, once again, I just wanted to say congratulations for your win. And good luck in Atlanta, man. You already know, if it's not pro, it got the gold deuces. Thank you.